Hey ladies, it's Mal here and I'm just coming today to show you our um, April Kudos Brown and Proud in action, okay? So this amazing box, you can see it's pretty big, comes with tweezers, comes with a brow gel, a highlighting pigment, a liner shader brush, a brow liner that has a spoolie on the end, and five eyebrow stencils, okay? So it just pulls out in this awesome kit. So there you see your tweezers, your brow gel, your liner shader brush, your brow liner, your pigment, and there's five different stencils, okay, that have shapes. So you find which shape of the eyebrow you want. And this is everyone, especially beginners for brows, dream. Because I used to not color my brows in. I thought I didn't need it, and it took away my um, eyes. But it really brings your eyes out and your brows frame your face. So it can really make or break your face. So I have no makeup on right now, except for I literally have a little bit of perfect liner on my lower waterline just to kind of wake me up some. And I have our vanilla milkshake bomb on um, just a little bit to give me some moisture on my lips because I'm a chapstick addict. So now I'm going to put them into use, um, this kit. So enjoy. Okay, ladies. So... Each box, you can pick light, medium, or dark. Light comes with all light, pencil, light gel, and curious pigment. Medium comes with medium liner, medium gel, and sexy pigment, highlighting pigment. And dark comes with dark gel, dark liner, and um, sexy pigment. So I usually wear a medium liner, um, or dark, I use the medium or dark. So today, I'm actually just gonna be showing you a little bit of each kit. So I'm gonna be using the Curious Pigment, which comes with the light kit. I'm gonna be using our medium liner, and I'm gonna be using dark gel, just to show everything off, okay? But here's how you pick your stencil. So there's five different shapes, five different stencils, um, and they look like this. They're clear and kind of plastic. They like can stick if you put them on there. But how you wanna do a brow is you usually hold your pen here, and this is where your brow should end, okay? You line it with your tear duct, and it should come to this all the way to this pencil. Then you keep it on your nose, and you go across your, um, your eyeball, and that's where your arch should be, okay? And then you keep it at your nose, and you go right under your um, outer corner, and that's where your brow should end, okay? As you can see on this brow for me is where it gets really thin, hence why I need to color it in. But you do the same thing on both eyes. So it's super simple. And then these stencils do it all for you, okay? So they literally have the line for you. So you line your li li that line up right here with your tear duct. You find the stencil that fits it. And then the one that goes across your eye See how if you make a straight line? And then the one that fits the outer eye, okay? And then you literally just color this guy in. So I'm gonna put it to use and bear with me. So I am outlining the brow with the stencil. Then I'll take the stencil off and I'll fill it in with my liner, colored in like a coloring book, brush it out. And then I'm gonna use my dark gel just to kind of fill it in. And then I'm using my liner shader brush with our Curious Pigment just to go right underneath it to finish it off. Okay, ladies, so you see how simple that was and look at how good it looks. That side versus that side. Holy moly, who says you don't need brows?